right? This is what I've said to Jack Byrne, right? He's come to me and said, I want a new contract. And we're talking about football fo philosophy. We're getting there now, right? I, I will give you everything you need to be <laughs> as confident as you want to be, right? But don't push me. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the five year plan. Something is happening right here, right now. I'm not alone this week. I think you've known if you follow me on Twitter, you will have seen we have a very special assistant manager. We've got a very special man who's going to take us to the next level. He's got the stats to get us the wins, to get us the trophy. It is none other than. Statman Dave joins us right now. Welcome, Dave. How are you? You've, you're probably been the most Con demanding assistant it's manager concerning. I've ever had. It's concerning. Look, look, well, I, I, feel, I, I feel for the ultras. The ultras have watched your brand of football for how many seasons now? Two seasons? Not even two seasons. Not even a season and a half. And you've not even got a full lot football in philosophy. How are they supposed to get behind you? How are they supposed to back you, James? This is why we're going to answer this question today for the fans. Hey, can you promise us right at the start of this stream that we're going to be better off at the end of this stream. Look, James, there's there's a lot of holes in, in, in what you've you've done so far. I feel that this league position is fragile. I think when you're playing the big boys, your Crystal Palaces, your Norwich Cities, you need to be a bit of bit more pragmatic. I think your style is a little bit too open. And I am here to tell you when to park the goddamn bus, James. That's Rip the out. lesson today. It's when to park the bus. I think my first problem with your side is that is a lack of goals from Parrot up front. That's the first thing that we're going to try and fix. Can we have a look at his stats from this season? Let's have a quick dive in. See how many shots he's taken. Let's have a look at the goals he okay, scored. Here we go. Here we go. Getting underneath the hood of Queen's Park Rangers now. Um, so, so these stats are ridiculous, just to let you guys know, right? 15 finishing, 12 composure, 16 heading. He's got pace of 14, agility of 14. This guy should be the Gary Goals of the championship. He's got the quality to score 40 goals in a season for you in the champ. We're a welcoming club. It's all about football philosophy. It's about inclusion. It's about man management. It's about optimism. It's about getting out there, getting chalk on your boots with a smile on your face. That's what it's about at Queen's Park Rangers <laughs> under James Alcott. Can we go back and look at those goals, please, James? Because we need to solve this problem because he should be scoring every single week for you. Here we go. Gilmore. Come on, yeah, the lads! Good set pieces. So he he header at the back stick. Right, okay. cool. Next one. Brewster doing bits. Something's brewing here. Come on, the lads! Finish, finish in a box. Okay, you're not bad. We're gonna have to do that. Like, this is the type. This type of stuff you need to do on foot manager. Hold okay. on, let me just try right, and. So, all right. What about his goal against Charlton then? Okay. So either we're looking at chance creation, right? So either you got low cross into the box, whip crosses are hung up. We basically need to work out which one Troy Parrott's scoring, and then you need to be tweaking your tactics towards playing that. It's looking like you're quite good when Burning. the ball is on the floor. So low crosses yeah, potentially are, are the go-to. A lot of pressure here. There's a lot of pressure. Are you? You know, I'm listening to you. You're gonna listen to me. No. What about what about the Uka Ultras? They're going to come for me at any point anyway, so may as well take them on, head on. Wow, love that. Parrot. Right, low cross, okay. low cross into the box. Right, James, change your method of chance creation to low cross into the box, I would advise. And I'd also change Parrot to uh, complete forward attack. You need to be building him to what you want him to build him. Do you want him to round the keeper? Do you want him to shoot from range? Do you want him to play shots? Okay, so uh, one last question then. We're yeah, talk about go on, the front mate. guys. Yes, we've got Brewster. Yes, we've got Parrot. But we've also signed someone else very exciting who is now, I think, registered. Lee Gregory. Un honest opinion of Gregory. He is awful. Look How's he awful? Look at his composure and his decision-making. He's at, look absolutely at, dreadful. Look at his work he's rate. Look at his teamwork. And he's got... See, that's where we're different. <laughs> that is where we're different. Because teamwork, 18. So I think the other thing that you've probably got to look at, James, is you've got your default system, right, in foot manager. Yeah. So you have your attacking system. You should also have, like, a possession system and you should have a defensive system that your team should be able to interchange in-game, if that makes sense. You can't play attacking for 90 minutes because well, you just get tired. I mean, you say that. Let's get to our next game. Big Barnsley. The 12th Barnsley. in the league, James. There's got to be a must-win this, mate, if we're getting promotion. Brad. Are we also going to... Uh, are you going to throw the FA Cup as well, James? I'd just advise to do it, mate. Which, well, no, no, we look to win everything. <laughs> throw it, here, mate. Throw it. You're a bit like Rafa Benitez. Very similar to Rafa Benitez in your style of management. But it's just a personal matter. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. What's up with him? Ooh, James. He's only, know you... he's only been here a year, mate. Isn't he? That's pretty bad, that. What's he on? Is he on big big wages as well? Actually, he's not. Yeah, to be yeah, fair, that's a disgrace, to be honest. Yeah, you're, that's an absolute yeah. disgrace. Oh, okay, get out. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, think, I think you could talk him down. I think you can say end of the season, James. Just yeah, say, yeah. Just a new contract. Say, look, mate, end of the season. You bag the goals. Get us promoted. It'll be, it'll be fine. We'll get you loads of money. I, I like Jack Byrne. 
I'm yeah. happy to give him a bit more. He's a, he's a crucial player. He's got, you know, he, got, he was our top assist maker last season, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on then. We'll, we'll talk about it soon. Would you like to be a player on the game? Can you make, can you get, you, you, added, you added them in with the editor? No, I've done, uh, give him a nickname. Oh, fair. <laughs> do, you, do you want to be on the, you can be on the game if you want. Do you want to be, be, a, be a player? Wayne Grimes, I think that's me. Yeah, he goes straight to the top. Straight to the top. <laughs> Dave's um, Dave's streaming himself, by the way. He's, he's if you want that, if you want that education, then uh, it's there for you. Hour after hour. If you, yeah, if you want to see how to to win on Foot Manager or you know play stick, stick around, stick around. <laughs> Come over. What happens if we get slaughtered uh, by Barnsley? We'll be going to six oh six. We want to hear what you've got to say on the game straight after. Uh, because, you know, you are a part of this, so have your say. And actually, if you guys haven't um, joined my Discord server, then you need to do that, because if you want to be on the 606 show, then this is the way that you do it. We've actually got someone who's been on 606. Or have you? 606? You've certainly been on BBC, haven't you? So he, I've he, not been on 606, actually. Have we not? Disgraceful. Get him in. Big moment here. Huge. It's going to be big. Just a little, you know, obviously do the team talk. It's nothing to do with me, James. You're the motivation guy. You're the, you're, you're the voice. You know, I'm the ears and the hand. Uh, what do I expect? Do you know, at home, I'm going to put all the pressure on. I expect nothing but a win. Not bad, not bad. Like it, James. I like that nothing motivation. But a win. James, let's go on to tactics. I bloody yeah, let's start the game yet, mate. Let's mess with their heads. Right, so let's let's play wide because they're playing an arrow diamond. We don't want to play through the middle. I'm not going to lie. I mean, a tiny part of me would love to see this crash and burn, but I, I don't see it happening. The, the large majority of me wants us to continue our march to the Premier League. Come on, the lads. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, we've got okay. a chance oh, here. Okay. Yeah, Come on. This highlight's not dead yet. He's playing it to Bright. Oh, Watch him burn him. Go on, Bright. Go on, Bright. Go on, Bright. Can you get across him, though? He can. Wow. <laughs> 15 minutes is all it took. Stat man Dave arrives. At Queen's Park Rangers, he turns to the fans. He doesn't even James lift quickly. up his hands. Just says, just nods. Just quietly nods. Let's see how it goes in the next few minutes. Obviously, watch the possession bar. We don't want to be losing the ball. We want to re be gaining the ball. We want to be keeping this tempo up. Mm. We've got another little highlight here. Look at them. They haven't even, right, they're not even playing anyone up there. Recycle it, boys. Look, they've got no one up. This Barnsley team, a weak, weak side. Let's destroy them. Come on, Jonesy. Whip it in, lad. It's like the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, I got Parrot scores again. Oh, offside. A bit cautious. All right, let's just play it down. Here we go. Corner time. Oh, let's... let's... Go on, chair. Come on, son. To Manning. Get your crossing, son. Oh! Curtis James with the header. Up the lads. James Warburton <laughs> Allcott. That's, that's, that's what they call me. Um, Stankovic is good, mate. Stankovic is the one. Go on, Justin. Just getting stuck in. They are at sixes and sevens here. Parrot's there if you want to find him. Penalty. He's giving it. Oh, Ryan Manning. Oh, Ryan Manning decent. doesn't miss penalties. 3-0. This could be half time. time. I mean, we're just we're carrying off where we left off. Get in. Get in. I said to the dressing room. Good stuff, Dave. And you are exactly what you're saying was seen there on the pitch. Low crosses. Parrot scoring a goal. Good job. Yeah, we've got a bit of yeah, we've got a bit of complacency in the ranks, James. They're quick to they are quick to get complacent. I feel like there was a bad culture before me and Lars got our hands on him. Oh, James, we haven't even looked at the tactics, James. And we're off. We made three new up, mate. So I tell you what, I'll make a bit of a let's make a tweak. If I put on, um, I was thinking Jack Byrne for chair because oh, he's not really done it, and then we move Jones uh, into the middle. I'm not sure Jones is a second striker. Yeah. Yeah, if I get him off that. Something's happening here, guys. Dave is uh, he's, he's putting his mark on the team, and it's, it's been it's been strong. It's been solid. 3 0 up at the moment. Looking to consolidate our top of the table. Yeah, it could be worth going defensive games just to save the stamina. You've been attacking for most of the second half. Uh, Don't is that Lee Wallace just missed? Lee Wallace just missed that. <sighs> Everything should be built to get the best out of Parrot. <laughs> I just hope the uh, you know the guys didn't hear you just say that uh, in the in the dressing room. Do you do much of the um, all this stuff? The press conferences and stuff? Yeah. That's just boring though, isn't it? What are you saying here? Oh, fucking hell, it was only a couple of days ago. Christ. Come on then, miserable git. I'm extremely annoyed with the fact that you proved... Oh, I'm genuinely sorry. and lit my mind and sulks as soon as possible. Right, let's do it now. Oh, what do you want? I'm not going to accept that. Oh, your reason given you've already broken your promises. I want to trust the club. Imagine you can trust. This is where it all collapses. He's highly influential in the dressing room, God, James. Give me a week, though. Give me a week to sort it out. I just wanted to get through the game. 
Let's rebuild the relationship. Damage is done, I'm afraid. Uh oh. You're so the way you've treated I'm me really if you don't let me leave. What the I'm fuck? Him. Get him out, James. He's a scumbag. I'm actually, I, I am annoyed at that. I'm annoyed at that. We brought him to the club. He was wasting away in Ireland, doing nothing with his life. And now he's on the, you know, he's on the cusp of the Premier League with me. What's he, what is he playing at? I reckon we can win him round. That's the all-cut way. Yeah, I'm taking him off the transfer list. We've got two big games coming up here. Burn in, 55%. Burn out, 45%. Tight. See, look, I am a reflection of you guys. Before we start, James, let's cautious. Let's go cautious. Okay. Let me just let them see. Look, the lads need to know I've got faith in them. Play a little bit safe, you know. Play ourselves into the game. Let's get the football. Let's get it down. Let's get possession. Pippity pop pop. Let's do it. Out they come. Here he is. The parrot. The man. Come on, the parrot. Oh, it's a cracking ball. Bird, go on, son. Go on, Bernard. Love to see Ben score. That would have been it. And then he'd come to me and it'd be a bit frosty initially. But then as time goes on, we go, yes, you're playing. I believe in you. Maybe you're good to go attacking. We've only had two shots on goal. I'm not, not massively happy with that. Yeah. I, you know, I think you've, you, I feel like you've offered him a bit too much respect here, if I'm honest. So if we go attacking for this first 15 minutes, then we'll, we'll know the truth and we'll still have time maybe, to change it. Maybe even positive, James. Maybe not attacking because I think you'll, the lads will get completely done much. if you go attacking. Yeah, yeah it'll be a little bit too much. <laughs> We're going to have a chat with Jack, guys. Quick chat with Jack. Now, Jack, I know we're in a difficult spot at the moment, but I'm going to passionately get behind you here. Okay? I believe in you and yeah. what you're doing here. You can't be happy with his performance. He switched off. He switched get off. He fucking switched off. He switched off. Unbelievable. I, I, reached my, I literally reached my hand out. Come on in, Kane. Oh, let's, really let's see, yeah. Do you see how they could have easily played it to burn there? Didn't want to. Decided to go down the left-hand side. They're upset with him. They're on my side. <laughs> Please. At some state. No, they don't. They, they, they're upset. Oh. I understand. Burn. Look, he's just walking around. Oh! What a goal! Who was that? It's our man on uh, the attacking midfield support, James, shoot more often, just to let you know. Woo! I'm going to go 4 4 2 and I'm going to pump this lot. Statman Dave, you need to take a, take a breath. Okay, just leave leave this to me. I'm going to sort this out now. Okay, it's going to be absolutely fine. We're going to put Brewster up there. We're going to play two up top. And we're going to take... We're going to give Mark Pugh in a bit of experience. Lovely little bit of experience there. And what we're going to do is... We're going to change how we play in possession. Because what we're going to do is in transition... Oh, we were doing it already. Don't worry about it. We're fine. They're going to be even better now. Because of the changes that we've made. Jack Byrne's been an absolute disgrace to the club. Uh, I'll have to look at that at a later date. I've got to concentrate on getting a dub, as Caelan said. Right now. Get creative. Always works. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Come on, Jones. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's still running. Come on. Son. He's still going. Go on. Oh, still going. great management. Really strong management. Come on, lads. Come on. Come on, Stanky. Give me that stanky, stanky cold juice. <laughs> Come on! Oh, still alive, stanky. To Manning. Put it in! Oh, pew! Big chance. Good draw away from home. Pleased with that. Pleased with that. Welcome to 606. Join us live after a game. Queen's Bot Rangers have drawn one all against Swansea. Statman Dave's in the studio. Dave, initial thoughts after watching that one? Well, I just think James got it all wrong. I think there was uh, you know, a moment in the game where Swansea were in the ascendancy. Andre I was causing a lot of problems down the, the right-hand side for, uh, for them and, and the left-hand side as well. The full-backs looked very tired and James just didn't use his bench very well. Thought he brought on an ageing Lee Wallace was a stupid change. Mark Pugh as well. Yes, Brian isn't performing. Right. Burns not performing right now, but James has got himself into a right hole with that. Uh, for me, I feel like I've I feel like I've let the club down a little bit. I did make I did make a mistake there. I relied on that that four four two that had worked so well for us. Um, but the, you know, uh, did the Jack Burn situation get to me? Yeah, yeah, it did. Lawrence has had his say. What a prick! Seriously, Burn equals prick for that. Right. This is what I've said to Jack Burn. Right. He's come to me said I want a new contract. Right. I've said yeah. I think you probably do need a new contract. I will sort that out soon. Right. He is then. 
just changed his mind and said, I want to leave the club from nowhere. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth, Jack. And then look to try and do the right thing. And I start him in the next game to show him that you've got a place here at Queen's Park Rangers Football Club. If you just take a breath, son, you know, you're, you're, you're burning bridges here. And what does he do? He gets switched off. We're talking about football fo philosophy. We're getting there now, right? I, I will give you everything you need to be <laughs> as confident be as you want to be, right? But don't push me. We would like to gauge your opinion whether discussing a new contract for you would be well received at this point in time. Now, that is how that. Thank you, Ruben. That is how you approach negotiations for a new contract. I think it's a fantastic idea. The announcement of a new contract and a stable future will give everyone associated with the club a huge confidence boost. We are delighted that you agree with our suggestion. We will get started putting the plans into motion. What are your favourite things about QPR? I like the name. I think the name's pretty cool. It is a cool name, isn't it? Queen's Park. We were a very good team in Scotland as well. One of the founding fathers in Scottish football, I do believe. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. Yeah. See, so, you know, I like QPR better than I like Chelsea. It's been nice being here, James. I think just focus on that wing back stuff. We haven't even spoke about your football and philosophy to a right point. Transfers, use the loan market more. Um, and I think you've got to think about the future. Lovely to speak to you. Mate, it's good and to I'll see you, mate. Yeah. Soon. You're looking very well. I'll see you when I see you. I'll see you when I see you, mate. Till next uh, time, mate. All the best. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. It's good to have him on. He knows his stuff, doesn't he? He does know his stuff. James Ilcott, for the very first time, is going to be on his own. So let's do this. Wow, guys. It's been quite a tense one, isn't it? I have an amazing assistant manager tomorrow. If you, He's one of the favourite characters that's ever been on my, uh, on my channel. He's not been on my channel a lot. He knows the club inside out. And I'm gonna. I will reveal. I will reveal who, um, who the assistant manager is at the end of this stream. So let's let's play two more games, and then we'll uh, then I'll reveal that. Charlie Taylor, do you want to chat? Do you want to have your say on the uh, situation? I think you've you felt quite strongly today about the uh, about the situation in terms of. Um, yeah, I should call it ultra, shouldn't I? That's true. You're in there at the moment. We can have a chat if you want. How are you doing today, Jim? It's been a very, very tense stream, isn't it? Yeah, Charlie, how are you, mate? You've, you know, you've you supported uh, the lads from the start. Um, it's good to have yeah, you here. Well, do you want to, now's your chance to have your say on 606. How do you feel? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm very, very proud of the hashtag Humans Not Numbers Army. We've <laughs> stood up for what we believe in today. Sure. Um, it's been a very, very tense time at the club. It's been our first little piece of adversity for the season. Um, yeah. We've had Jack Byrne flaring up which has been a concern, but what, well, I'm well, proud. What have you got to say on Jack Byrne and the situation well, there? And, and, and James Alcott's handling of that? I believe that James uh, handled it better than most people give him credit for. You need, to, you need to give players chances. You need to give them chances to grow and assimilate with the culture of Queen's Park Rangers. And yeah, he switched off. 100%, he did. But you need to give players chances, because otherwise, where are we going to go? We just start booting players out. Does Jack Byrne have a future at this football club? Jack Byrne has three games. Three games? The next three games. No assists, no goals, not even a good performance maybe. Then you ask the other, then you ask the question again, but I mean, it's we're humans, we're not numbers and that's the QPR way. Strong yeah. words from Charlie. Great chat from Charlie. Daniel Watson joins us now. Hello. Hi, Daniel. Uh, now is a chance for you to have your say on the situation. Charlie's been very strong in his thoughts on it. He, he feels like Jack Burns got a, a three-game ultimatum. On 606, we did a, did a poll. 74% um, saying they wanted Statman Dave back, and 55% were saying that Jack Burns still had a future at the club. Daniel, how do you feel about this situation? I think, I think first and foremost, you go, let me, hey, wait a second, let me just turn my radio down. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> want my radio down. Um, so I've got to say, I think we've handled it quite well, but I think it's, it's not acceptable the way Jack Burn reacted. You know, in the dressing room, yeah. I think he has to go. For you, do you see, do you stick by this three game ultimatum? Do you feel like that's the rule? Um, yeah, but I think you should also find him two weeks' wages. Not you, you, obviously, the okay. manager. Yes. Kind of, yeah, sorry. All right, interesting. All right, Daniel, thank you for, for your call. Appreciate no it, appreciate it. I'm quite keen to uh, to give Gilmore a rest at some point. I might save him for the away games. I think the home games, we need him. Let's do it. We good? Come on, lads, right? Let's, let's put the tension behind us and let's get the wins back. This is a tough game, you know. Come on, the Gregs. 
Do you know what I think where we let ourselves down? I felt like we were touched suspicious of Dave. And I think that was understandable. Gilmore, good. Dominating the ball. That's it. Playing a short pass, mixing it about well. Catch James is good on the left-hand side. He finds Troy Parrott out wide. Oh, nearly falls to Gregory. Now Kane passing. Gregory! Oh! Half time. We are all over this lot. 17 shots. Do you know what? Actually, it might be time for, with 10 men, it might be time for Jack Byrne in a Mazzala roll. Right. I'm going to start off in a balance rate, and this is good. We've got a highlight straight off the bat. Brewster and Parrot up top. It's pretty strong. Parrot out wide there. Gets the ball to Manning. Let's not give it away here. Come on now. Let's work the space. Let's get the job done. Byrne. Great pa pass to Justin. He's getting bizarre. And there's the Mazzala. He's got himself in the box. Oh, let's not get done on the break. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Oh, well over the bar. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Burn there with a good pass to Bright Say Samuel Kane on the overlap. Two attacking fullbacks there. Burn getting on the ball now, shaking off the sulk. Can he do a little bit extra and get himself a goal today? That's what we want to see if he wants to get himself a new contract. Parrot! Pounces! Get in there. Come on, the lads. Oh, no, offside. Disallowed. Shit. We've got the ball here. Can we press them now? It's good work from Brewster. It's come on. Trying to make an impact, and they've given the ball away. James Justin on the left-hand side there. Byrne with the ball now, plays it out wide to Keane. And Byrne's been involved quite a lot. He's looking good. Can we do it this time? Yes, we can. Troy Parrott, complete forward. Yes, lads. Troy Parrott's going to go. Byrne with the cross this time. Byrne! Manning! It's 2-0. It's game over. We're looking good now, and we'll roll on through with this game. Stay balanced. All right, let's finish with a 3-0 win. Up the lads. Oh, five. I oh, know it's 3 0. Come on. A couple of disallowed goals. Annoying, that is. Manning! Oh! <laughs> Happy with the way they played. They're extremely delighted. Life is good. Happy days as we go and celebrate. No, Statman Dave, but I'm here. I'm here and I'm present. You just need me. You just need. I'm going to be a massive. There's going to be a giant me. There I am. Robert Turner. He's been on everyone's stream today. It's time to have your say, son. How do you feel after that? It's been a, it's been a lot going on. Um, and th we needed to see a response from QPR there. Uh, do you feel like you saw the response that you wanted to see? Uh, going today, I was very worried. Like a lot of fans were with the Statman Dave. He came in, chatting all this stuff about he's got a stadium named after him. But you knew what he was talking about. We've got to get behind him now, haven't we? Yeah, it's a great point, Rob. It's a great point. You know, look, I think what the important thing to remember here is, and I, and I mean this when I say it, James Alcott, he needs those Alcott ultras. More so than you'll see at any other football club. And so when someone like Statman Dave comes in, who's used to being, you know, a bit of a loner when it comes to his, his relationship with his fans, you're going to understand that he's going to be very strong in his views. But James Alcott is cut from a different cloth. He, you know, he welcomes, he welcomes feedback uh, as long as it's done in the right way way and I feel like you've seen that there was a message that came from the from the club there and, and in particular most importantly from the players and it was saying yes yes we want James Alcott at the helm yes we want to get promotion yes uh, we want to win the Champions League one day and that's what and I saw on the pitch today they came from the board as well giving you a new contract they believe they believe in our cup they believe in take us up and that's the important part yeah, it's huge it's huge Rob great call uh, we'll have one more game because I did say to you didn't I and then I'll reveal the assistant manager for tomorrow's stream. So we should finish with a strong win here. Hull City, 22nd. We're top of the league. Come on, the lads. Let's finish off well then. Let's finish off well. Do you know, actually, tactics-wise, we made a mistake here looking to play through the playmaker because I don't think Cameron's actually that good at that. Let's start with balance. Let's see how we go. Come on, the lads. Come on, the lads. Been a stream for the books, this one. Pwah. Manning with the ball. We're going to get to half-time and then I'm going to have to ring the changes, I think. Bright say some, which I'm a bit nervous about. Maybe we get them this, give them the special one. Get creative, lads. Get bloody creative. Go on! Share. Yes. Gets in there. Good victory. Good victory. Good goal that could lead us to victory. No. Disallowed. Shit. Come on now. Come on. Let's finish strong. Manning with a cross. Come on. Finish this half strong. Let's get, us, get ourselves in the lead. Dicky, what are you doing out there, son? Great cross. Chair again. Yes. Yes. Right, let's make some changes because we looked tired there, didn't we? Might we could change we could change formation here. Do you know let's stay strong. I'm gonna move I'm gonna tweak it a bit. We're gonna go to that. It's gonna get we'll get Curtis Jones on and we'll get chair in the middle. He's not the new assistant manager, but he is here. Look, 
It's Riley. There you go, Riley. Right, come watch us win, mate. It's all over, Riley. That's our mascot. Never win for the lads. Good, hard-fought win. Good win. Well done, boys. Can we do it? Let's celebrate one last time. Come on, the lads. Get in there. Get in there. I'm going to reveal the assistant manager. I'm revealing it in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. That's right. Gary Alcott, my father will be the assistant manager tomorrow. This is going to be insane. I don't get to watch the football with my dad anymore, like all of you guys as well. But something's happening tomorrow on the stream, 4 p.m. Make sure you join us. My dad is going to be with me in the assistant manager chair. He's going to bring the exact same vibes that I do because we're cut from the same cloth because we are the same blood. And uh, he will be joining me tomorrow on the stream, on the five-year plan as we looked to get ourselves... Probably two. Well, we're going to run through the games in a big way. Come on, the dads, isn't it? Come on, the dads. So, twelve games played. Look at this. We are doing so well, guys. So, so well. Right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again. I, I absolutely love doing these streams so much. It's so much fun. Thank you, guys. See you soon, guys. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Come and join us.